You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Fried. <laughs> Most of my info does come from Wikipedia. Really? Same. Yeah. yeah. I love Wikipedia. I can say, man. I go through there and I'm just like, ooh, I'm going to click on this blue thing and then this blue thing and then I feel like I've learned something. Yeah. It's great. Just reading lies about Chairman Mao. You know what I mean? They it's need good. to show us <laughs> pictures of who writes the articles so I can judge if it's accurate based on their appearance. Yeah. Yeah. If you that donate nice. to them, are you allowed to edit like anyone's? Because you <laughs> can a edit a lot of stuff, but then some stuff's, you know, locked or whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really edit it ever. I'm just here to fucking take yeah. in misinformation. It used you know? to be fucking open source. You yeah. could just at any time go that. on and just edit people's shit. I remember editing that in like in school. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah, to right? school and be like, like Adolf Hitler used to suck big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's in my report. Yeah. <laughs> I cite Bully Willie Simon. <laughs> yeah. <We believe> that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely when I was in school you could not cite wiki. wiki. <laughs> yeah, you, you, like, you could no. <laughs> yeah. She gives you an A plus. She's like, "Yeah, I did I learned something myself." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, well, teach. really. That's probably why he did the Holocaust cuz he was so repressed. <laughs> <laughs> like it's changing how people see history. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. There's that new movie about I can't remember it's going to win all these Oscars and it, there's nothing in there about it. Although wait, I just saw what's it the wrestling claw movie? Iron Claw. Oh, Iron Claw. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about? They omitted yet. that the um, father's wrestling persona was like a Hitler loving Nazi guy. Like that was his wrestling character. That and they just like, as long as and I went on heel, Wikipedia you know? and it was all over Wiki. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. As long as he's not a hero. <laughs> as long as he's not trying to be the hero. Yeah. And it's, that's bad if he's, if he's a bad guy. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> he does lose a lot. That is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing. And the and the new WWE champion, <laughs> Hitler lover. Oh no, <laughs> Hitler lover sixty nine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just like a hotmail account. Yeah. Yeah. Aim He's username. Got a little mustache. He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, the Rock runs out, gets his ass beat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the two like Jamaican twins get their ass beat. <laughs> yeah. Like this is the worst thing we've ever seen. <laughs> it's uh, wait, what was it called? Oh, it's a Holocaust out there like that. Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Any other terms? I don't remember that many. I wasn't there for the World War II. I bet he could do a couple either. cool finishing moves. Yeah. Right? Hitler wrestler. Yeah. The Heil, yeah. right? The Heil, yeah. Just he fucking just slapping him right totally in the did. throat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chopping the ladder down as someone tries to reach for the briefcase. You yeah. Know? <laughs> just hiling it. <laughs> yeah. He has the mustache, but he oh. still does the two fingers just for show. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the goose step instead of the leg drop. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, a lot dude. there. This is great. He, Thanks for having me. Yeah. Dude. He paints you and then smashes his painting over you. <laughs> yeah. That's a fun one. <laughs> it's like a special, special yeah, attack. Special. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so yes. fun. It, just seeing like uh, like Roman Reigns with a painting around his head, yeah. like a Looney Tunes character. Yeah. Out of a chair. <laughs> This is a cage match. Oh no! Hey, He's yeah. so good at putting people in cages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where he thrived. <laughs> okay, now I'm back on board. Why did yeah, they, yeah. they get rid of that character? <laughs> Doing a showers match. <laughs> Who am I fighting in the showers match? Oh no! Oh, no. oh gosh! Oh. He's not even out of here. Yeah. He's, he's on the other side of the showers. He he's said on other the, people. Yeah, he's outside. <laughs> so a rabbi comes out and just tries to reason with him. He's like, hey, stop it. This is <laughs> yeah. not okay. Listen. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Has, has any has any wrestling re ring that uh, wrestling re league? I can talk. I can do this still. This is this is not gonna be my audition for Marin. <laughs> Wait, um, it's getting sent to him. One of the wrestling leagues do anything with like historical figures and stuff. They're they could, fun. yeah. Abraham Lincoln versus yeah, Lincoln. Oh, John Wilkes okay, Booth. Tall hat, yeah. Finally settle it. <laughs> like celebrity death. <laughs> basically celebrity death match, but... Yeah, but wrestling? Wrestling. It's a good idea. Yeah. I can write that. that down. We're pitching that. Let's pitch it. 
Don't don't take uh, don't show this don't to Mark Maron. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody show this to Mark Maron. <laughs> he did that wrestling show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Glow? He did the wrestling yeah. thing. He could do. All right, you can't use this anymore. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but this is ours. He's gonna take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, dude, just set up a Wikipedia and be like, uh, awesome idea for a wrestling history show. Yeah, and yeah, then they can't steal it from you. Yeah, on Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> you just say you have the patent for a thing or the copyright. Our country was built on lying. Mm -hmm. So if you just like say something and people are like, that sounds true, you're going to win. This podcast is built on lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not built on lying so much as it's built is, on saying things without having any knowledge if they're true or not. This is you know? the most American <laughs> fucking patriotic podcast in the world, dude. Hell yeah. Lying, I feel going? like you have to do on purpose. We just... Talk I'm trying to any yeah. regard for. I am <laughs> for trying fact. to tell the truth. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm just dumb. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. Same. It's it's uh, like life rules if you don't know anything. I love not knowing anything. Yeah. It's the best. I'll try and put something on like social media, some joke, like any of your jokes, and then they're like, uh, like your is it cake joke? If yeah. someone was like, actually, that wouldn't hold up in court due to this defense, and you're like, oh, you're such a bummer. Like, yeah, why are right? you trying to teach me anything? Yeah. I'm funny. You know too much. You can't. <laughs> you can't enjoy things. Yeah, exactly, dude. I asked an attorney at uh, the last show I did it at, and he said it might hold up. Really? Yeah. He also didn't know the Twinkie defense, that old defense. And so I'm like, I don't know if you're a good lawyer or not. If you What's don't the know, Twinkie like, defense? Yeah. That was the one where someone, That's how I judge someone lawyers. murdered uh, <laughs> I know Har Harvey <laughs> Milk, the, the, old case. the old politician or whatever. <laughs> they murdered him and then argued that they were hopped up on sugar and whatnot. And it fucked with their brain and they got a lesson sentence. No. Was the Harvey Milk murder? Was yeah. the Twinkie thing? Uh, I feel like they... you shouldn't call it the Twinkie thing. Yeah. I think it should, you should call it the... The Harvey Milk murder defense. <laughs> but it wasn't the Harvey Milk murder. <laughs> yeah, we're really burying the... <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're burying the most... The hey, man, pretty dude. critical part of that. <laughs> That's really funny. Wow. Can you yeah. imagine yeah. getting... The can you imagine, like, you're, like, a prominent politician, you get murdered, and they're, like... Some guy, like, claims he was hopped up on Twinkies, and they call it the Twinkie thing instead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was still the sucks. murder of him, I'm sure, at that time, but... yeah. Twinkie case goes bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First on, time ever a Twinkie yeah. goes bad. Harvey Milk's family is like, why? No, I'm kidding. We hate him. He's gay. Headlines are all just like hokey <laughs> shit. Like, like, you know what goes good with Twinkies? Milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was on Epstein's Island, but I was just eating so much cake, guys. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. <laughs> you got hopped ride. up on sugar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's wild. Also, I'm so excited that you know that defense oh yeah that, like that's pretty cool i remember hearing about it when i was younger i don't know why because it's still oh yeah. i don't know it's probably in a movie or something that they talk about it eric's household celebrated and the murder of harvey milk yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really the murder Big of any deal. politician it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. more just fucking any of them <laughs> <laughs> that lawyer uh doesn't sound like a real lawyer i don't th i don't know if they were i mean we were in a it was a bar show it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> oh dude it wasn't like a high class just because a man's in know, a suit nice doesn't exist I, know, or... I know you're not the lawyer for hostess <laughs> buddy <laughs> he said he's a lawyer i didn't i didn't just put that that on him <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> someone else asked him what he does for work and he said he's a lawyer and so then when i did the joke i asked him okay and he panicked because he was like, I'm definitely not a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I lied already once. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Hey, man, if you lie enough, you're a lawyer. That's, That's true. That's part of the job, right? I think so. I don't think so, actually. It's lying on someone's behalf? I think it's the opposite. You know? I think you're not supposed to lie. I mean, you're not supposed to lie, but I'm not like if you're a good lawyer, you're lying. I think it's more like, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like not telling the whole truth. Yeah. That's what it's all about. You know? I mean, I, mean, I think if a gray area of lying, if the job of a, a lawyer was to tell the truth, then I don't think the the client attorney privilege thing would need to exist. Right. Yeah. Well, it's like convincing. It's like, that's why you want your guy to be telling the truth. But like, if your guy's lying, then you got to be like, all right, we'll, we'll make this work. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, but like stretch in truth. Would you tell your lawyer that like I would lie to my I don't know who. No, I feel like I you have to tell. You really? got to tell your lawyer. We did talk about this once. Yeah, I feel like you have to tell your lawyer too. Because what if they try and like be like, 
he couldn't have done this. Well, then this and this would have happened. And it's like actually closer to the truth. Yeah. And like gets you caught up. Yeah, uh, exactly. Damn. Okay. It's got to know which way to lie. Yeah. Okay. You got to see your lawyer as like the guy inside your brain that's better at lying than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if no. you murdered a guy. You got to <laughs> be like, well, I can't lie like this. I can't cover up what I did. Yeah. But this guy might be able to better. Right. You know I mean? He's the guy who can beat the lie detector test for you. Yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah. Okay. So you do have to tell him the truth so that he can lie on your behalf or vague, but be vague on your behalf. Yeah. 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 I'm with that. Okay. Cool. So the Twinkie defense was like, he was like, yeah, I killed that dude. But also, you know, there was like a buffet there and there was like, yeah. oh, we can use this. Yeah. All Maybe right. the lawyer was like, I did see there was a buffet. And the, <laughs> and the guy was like, there was no buffet. And I was like, there was a buffet. There was oh, definitely yeah. a buffet. Oh, yeah. Was <laughs> Full of Twinkies. Oh, no, there wasn't. Yeah. There was Twinkies. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't eat Twinkies. I don't like sugar. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. And you, you had lots of it. You had too much sugar. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Because that man was also, like, fighting so hard for um, gay rights during, like, uh, I think th it was something about how uh, the government wouldn't recognize AIDS as like a pandemic amongst the gay community. And they were trying to just eradicate, speaking of Hitler, yeah. like this is like another <laughs> one, you know what I mean? Like trying to eradicate the like gay people. Yeah. And so Harvey Milk was like a huge voice for that. And then I didn't know that he was assassinated though. Man. Damn. A hero for twinks. <laughs> 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 Killed <Where's> by Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom, baby. <laughs> a, that's a bow on that one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> New topic. <laughs> um, we forgot to do this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Tune on Babies. Um, I'm Willie Simon. I'm Eric Friedman. And we got guest comedian, podcaster. He's got a new album out. Guys, make it loud for Mike Glazer. Yeah. Yeah. For real, thank you for having me. This is cool. I really dig your podcast. Yeah, thanks yeah. for coming on. Yeah, it's very fun. The clips are hilarious. You're the man, dude. Yeah. Appreciate it. Is we'll the album it. out now? March or 11th. Directed 11th. by producer Mark. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Fuck yeah, yeah dude. He directed it at the Hollywood Improv. And it only took a year to figure out how to edit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to be an hour, and now it's 37 minutes, because I definitely cut out all the political stuff, because it was from last year. Like, what are we doing? Nobody, yeah. And although yeah. nobody wants to hear political comedy, it's so, you know what I mean? I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff has to be just tossed out quickly on clips or on whatever, yeah. and then has it's to be, be like done with, you know, you yeah. don't want to, like, hone... Yeah, there's uh, no, like, Lewis Blacks it. anymore. Yeah. Just rail on politics and stuff. That's and so that's true. I love those guys. I know. Man. We don't correct, uh, like, political comedians we have to everyone is somewhat a political comedian now yeah almost everyone yeah there's a lot of guys like in the 2000s that's like all they did yeah and it was like they did that and Even everyone like, else did other stuff there was a whole like john stewart <laughs> special that was just about politics and it was fucking awful <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. no he really? actually there's some really good jokes in yeah. it but it's also just like you know by the end of it, you're like, man, I'm Exhausted. fucking sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My politics sucks. <laughs> I learned a lot. I laughed twice, and I'm sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? 100%. Like, man, everything is bad. Uh-huh. Shit. He is orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He really is orange. Yeah. All right. I'm glad we covered that. I got nothing from this. Not laughter, not yeah. a feeling of I do security. Know, I do know that no one's looking out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's good to know. <laughs> Nope, think it goes back to the ignorance is bliss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude. It's like, did yeah. you ever try and do be a political comedian ever? Were you ever like, oh, Tim Dillon can do this? Check this out. I have opinions, and then it just like, didn't go well. I tried, but like when I was trying, I was also like 19, 20. So it was like fucking awful. Dude. I can't even. I, I'm glad now that shit exists anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> you're like under your I mean, parents' health insurance. Like life yeah, is pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, going to college, fucking on scholarships, like n not paying for a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to do it. Yeah, that's. I mean, and that's I have when, something to say about fucking. That's when you socialism. become an anarchist. Yeah. <laughs> you're also like, in a state that's so far away from the rest of America, just really tapped into the yeah, source. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> you should be at the most peaceful. Just, yeah. I went out to the beach <laughs> today. Paradise. Folks, this country has fallen apart. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see any of that. Communism beside, but... <laughs> is ruining this country, and I need more money for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Did, Did you, said, Eric? I, were you a I, political guy? I'm not a political guy. I touch on certain politics and plenty of opinion type stuff, but I, I don't follow politics. Yeah. I don't care about it or enjoy it. 
I'm always on the just the fuck the government side. That's the, yeah. I take the the punk kid side, uh, you know, punk skateboard and all of that shit growing up, and I'm just like, yeah, they suck. Yeah, and that's that's the stance, and then anything else comes around that. Yeah, a hundred percent. I feel like if anything, I was thinking the other day, like, you know how so many people would get canceled, like like Jeremy Piven and stuff, and then they're like, oh, I'll just go into stand up comedy. That's that's a place where anyone can try and do stuff, mm-hmm. and and I feel like now if you're like a failed anything, you can just get into politics and have an amazing career. Like it's a great backup plan for anybody. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, it's so it crazy. I mean, I guess I'm glad uh, it's not just like, I don't know, like these fucking drone people running it. Like anyone gets into politics is so bad. Like because it used to be just like these career politicians who yeah. were just there to siphon it's money from the good. public yeah, right. and fucking take these grants from these big companies. And now it's like, you know, just like former models. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. like no one who gets into it is good. Yeah. So yeah. No Let, let's get some really stupid people in there. Maybe they'll at least accidentally give us all of the truth yeah right, right. that's uh oh, that, that, true, yeah. that might be the best way honestly yeah <laughs> keep like the shrewd manipulative people out of it yeah. <laughs> like like biden forgets his mic is on and he's just reading the nuke codes aloud under his breath <laughs> like yeah. that would be phenomenal <laughs> six two pound what what is this yeah <laughs> golly he was just here he was just here in L.A., or maybe he still Yesterday, is. I yeah, he might yeah, be. Right? I was thinking how cool it would be if he like went to a dispensary or something. You know how they always like make the rounds and they're like they're getting into small businesses in, <laughs> yeah. in each yeah. city. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Biden was like getting high. That would yeah. be awesome. I'm meeting with the leaders of uh, the community, and he's like talking to the Mad men. <laughs> <laughs> Mad men. He's I mean. like, this is this is G Crip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking pics, yeah. <laughs> Throw in signs. His hands are already arthritic, so he's already yeah, in the yeah, sign. Yeah. He's like with, <laughs> with burner over at the cookies dispensary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Honestly, man. that would get him more points than anything else. Hundred <laughs> percent. <Yeah. laughs> that would be phenomenal, man. Okay. But, well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for being here yeah, yeah. Uh, i really i really am sorry i was late i'll put that on pause it's fine why it's were fine. you late yeah truly what the fuck is that about? i was no, having coffee i was playing a little slot machine game and i was up to 56 million dollars whoa yeah and you, and left, you just for left our podcast <laughs> yeah, yeah I, it's paused but like Things are going well. I mean, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> we could have, we'll, we'll get into, you could have just offered some, some of that money to us, but like, hey guys, I'm not going to make it, but here's a few mil. Yeah. <laughs> so is this just a game where there's no money? Yeah. You know, but you're this is like, just points. But, yeah. but you're just like playing slots? Yeah. So you're I, just kind of pulling a thing? No, I don't even touch it. It's on autoplay and I stare at it. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that sad? That's you're just like, insane. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like watching <laughs> I'm just like staring at like chickens go by. Do you have to put any real money into this at all? Is it one of the like apps where I've thought about it because I'll like lose all my money. I'll be like, I got five bucks. I could get another cool two billion dollars for this. But then I'm like, no, that's a dark turn, man. Oh, so it's like so you buy fake money. To watch it auto, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, this is a pit, dude. What got you Just into do this? like heroin? Yeah, <laughs> at least that's like kind of fun. I hear. Yeah, you probably get some good ideas. <laughs> Be a better artist. <laughs> What what got you into this, this game? The, this is the worst. Thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what it's called. I'll get. I'd love to plug it and get sponsored. Uh, goldfish just... slots. Man, they're raking in the money too. Yeah, they're like we're making good money. Oh this yeah, is, this it's, is like they're also refreshing the thing constantly, just watching their money go up. <laughs> I it... feel like this is watching like Oxycontin hit a community. <laughs> <laughs> Like we're gonna see Glazer in a year, and he's gonna be like, "I fucking lost everything." Yeah, just <laughs> standing outside the laugh factory, fully bent over, staring at my phone. Yeah, <laughs> I need more coins. I got a billion. I need really? more fish. <laughs> <laughs> one more. One more. Yeah. yeah. So I was twenty minutes late because I was like, you know, on a run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was no, on a run. At least it was something important. I wasn't mad. Now I'm kind of mad you were late. I know. I'm honestly. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I would have accepted almost anything I else. Like, so I was totally I overslept. Cool to I was ch- tired. <laughs> I, no, dude. I was like, coffee? That's yeah. fucking fine. Yeah, Coffee's I was, good. I was just hungry. I was eating <laughs> almost anything. Look at this. Not you can get one point. The slots. <laughs> you can get $1.5 billion for only 99 cents. 
What? Yeah, this right. game that is, is phenomenal. That is a pretty good deal. Yeah, thank but. you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the other numbers I get when I spend this little tiny number. You know, you could play that game also on a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> For free. Just adding a million. <laughs> or to your point, not at all. Yeah, or not at all. <laughs> or like read a book or something. <laughs> oh, a book, huh? This is Or just like stare at the sun or something. Dude. <laughs> That'd be the same. <laughs> this is like not being willfully ignorant. This is being forcefully ignorant. <laughs> Violently <laughs> ignorant. Violently ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad dude like i'll be like why can't i sleep and it's like oh because i just stared at like piggy banks exploding for four hours last night yeah yeah the animations are cool on it at least. animation Pretty. is really cool i bet that's a sick fucking dopamine hit yeah though, dude. it's phenomenal it's like fucking you let that go you hit a fucking three dollar signs in a row or something like that your brain just like Wow. Yeah, I mean that's how they steal all the money from all the like poor old people. Or yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's me and people on their retirement yeah. funds. Oh, yeah. Me and my grandma who's ninety three. Shout out Sally. <laughs> the is problem insane. is that like I feel like I'm succeeding because yeah. like you know I started at like eight billion. I'm yeah. at fifty six billion right now. You're, you're gone fire. <laughs> I'm on fucking fire, guys. <laughs> I was gonna reschedule this thing if I could. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's great because people are like, what'd you do yesterday? And I was like, oh, you know, worked hard, yeah. wrote a bunch of bits. Yeah, I got a lot of writing done. <laughs> <laughs> my muse is in the background just cooking, you know? That's that's probably what's yeah, going no, it on. It just lets my brain think, you know? It's wandering. <laughs> it is the thing, though. Like, a lot of those games are just designed... Like, they're not even, like, good games anymore. They're just designed to fucking hit your fucking yeah. dopamine centers. It's like drugs. They're like, they are like fucking drugs. It's yeah. like... That's insane, man. Yeah. And the the thing you're making me realize when you say that is that when I don't play it, I do get sad. So all my dopamine dopamine is being squeezed by this <laughs> fake money <laughs> casino slot game that I don't even touch the button. This is on. how China's gonna beat us, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is fucking hundred <laughs> percent. They're already because yeah. they, let's who who developed that game? Let's see. Sci play. Sci play. S C. SCI like science, yeah, yeah. science play. Sci play. Yeah, so I'm absolutely a part one. Of who owns Sci play? Yeah. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, we need to look into who owns Sci yeah, play. Who's, who's I need to find destroying who, what, Mike's brain. Yeah, I think you're we right. We need to find dude. what huge Chinese conglomerate is destroying Mike Glazer's brain. Please. <laughs> My picture's up on the wall behind Mike. the board. <laughs> how long have you? How long have you been stuck on this game? Oh, that's a good question. There's no winning it. Also. No, no, no. Well, well, everything is winning. Yeah, man. It's all winning. Hey, I don't know That's if you heard me say before, game. but I was at 8 billion. Now I'm at 56. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you listen? Yeah, no, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> He's very successful. Yeah. I love that like all of our all of our tax money is going to like drones and lasers and China's like, we'll just make some games. Don't worry about it. Who Light and have? Wonder Limited. That sounds pretty Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like second language English to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely a shell corporation for some kind of data mine. Uh, yeah, 100%. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Light and Wonder Limited. I can't wait. Light and Wonder Limited. Was there, was there a gateway game? To this one, or Candy Crush, there... baby. Candy, Candy Crush. Crush. Candy so Crush. Everybody's Candy's fucking intro. What is it? Vegas. Ah, Damn. Well, that makes perfect That's sense. Domestic terrorism, dude. Yeah. That's what that is. Wait. Holy shit. I may as Might well. Might be the Italians. Yeah. This is my Italians. <laughs> yeah. Those fucking rats. <laughs> Fuck, man. This is my Marin podcast because I'm about to get real vulnerable with you guys. Do it, <laughs> okay. Please. So uh, the reason I downloaded this game is because I'm obsessed with buffalo slots in Vegas. I go to Vegas a lot by myself. Like mm -hmm. I'll just drive there for a weekend and stay at the Cosmo and do nothing but watch Showtime because I don't have it at home and play slot machines. Damn. Yeah. And uh, the this buffalo. Is, this is bumming me out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a fun way to live. <laughs> Walking around, nobody knows you. Your hoodie is up. You're on a little MDMA. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> And, and so I'll play Buffalo slots all night long and just like hang out and smoke weed. And uh, and I, I was like, I don't feel like driving all the way to Vegas to play Buffalo slots. I'll download an app yeah. so I can still get my fix. Okay. <laughs> 
then you can't watch Showtime? You know what? I, that's a problem. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you can also get Showtime. It's much cheaper than going to Vegas I and keep, getting People keep saying that to me to just like buy Showtime, but I would rather go to the Cosmo and watch it. If I'm going to be honest, I'd rather spend like $500 yeah, yeah. <laughs> to watch the new Lyft series <laughs> yeah. story Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You're watching like Yellow Jackets? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's even on Showtime? Season two's come out. I got to go to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Season two of Yellow Jackets is up. I'll see you guys uh, Tuesday. <laughs> you know, honestly, now I I think this might be your nicotine patch of the yeah. game. This is cheaper yeah. than going to Vegas. That's well, such a good point. <laughs> I was gonna blame China for this. <laughs> this seems like your fault. <laughs> I don't think this is China's fault. I can't blame anyone. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> this is on you. Wait, you don't think like the Vegas defense would work if I like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you like murdered for a politician like a, or something? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was addicted to an app. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He needed it. He it, thought he was a buffalo. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I love. Do you all? You don't like Vegas, or do you all like Vegas? I like Vegas. Yeah, it's, it's fine. pretty fucking yeah. fun. I like Vegas. I do like craps though. I like craps uh, and like blackjack. Like I don't do the slots. I've never learned craps, but it looks fun. Craps to be is honest, fun. I fucking yeah. Craps rules, dude. It's like you just right. need. You're gonna lose some money probably, but like if you get one guy on a good run and you just like keep betting, yeah. like you bet like the field. You do like a couple like other little side ones. I remember one time like. I was out in Vegas with uh, Jeff Dye, and we were like, I was like blackout drunk. I think we were, he was drinking at the time too. So we were both like hammered. And there's this little Arab guy, and he's just fucking on a streak, dude. And we're just winning and winning and winning. And I'm like, and we're like cheering. We're like having a great time. I'm spilling my drink on the foam, and they're just like, stop <laughs> filling your, you can't do that, dude. Get your fucking drink off the, <laughs> get your drink off the, skin. yeah, what the hell's wrong with you? And I'm like, hey, don't worry, man. I tip him five bucks. And he's like, that's not enough. <laughs> You're ruining this table. <laughs> You're waving it before you <laughs> yeah, hand yeah, it to yeah. him. Yeah, I'm like, don't sure. even worry about it, man. Just throw it in his face. Get a new one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. $5 chip. <laughs> you don't throw it onto the table. You throw it, like, at his face. <laughs> we had such a fucking good time. It took, it was, like, hours, too. Like, yeah, it, it was a long time. Yeah. And I woke up with, like, $900 in my pockets. It was the best night. So much fun. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Like, and and it's it's possible. Like, do you roll, too? Can you no, throw? If them? someone's on a streak, you just kind of let them. One roll. person rolls until they crap out, and then it goes to the next person who wants to roll. Yeah, so you, like, you don't have, have to, roll. to roll. Yeah, if you don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Like when I roll, I almost never, like I almost always get a bad roll. Yeah, I and feel so, like that's like, too much pressure. Yeah, and so if, you know, and if you're getting bad rolls, everyone gets like mad at you. They get mad at you, but if you're getting good rolls, people, other people will give you money. Yeah, like that that uh, that Arab dude. We were like throwing him like twenties yeah. all night, dude. Because like you can, especially if people are playing and like really betting a lot of money, you can make people thousands of dollars very quickly. Oh yeah. shit! So they'll tip you. <laughs> it's like so fun, but it's only if someone's hot. If yeah. no one's hot, then it's like you, lose all your you put money. down a hundred bucks, Gone. you lose it all. You put down a hundred bucks, you lose it all, and you're like, well, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would was, go. That was like 30 seconds. <laughs> when I'd go out there and, like, when I was out there and would gamble a bunch, I would go play blackjack to make some money so that I could go play craps and most likely lose it. <laughs> yeah. But it was such a rush so for fun. craps. Yeah. Dude, when it's fucking good. Yeah. I like it where there's like, you have no control over the situation, but somebody else is crushing it for you. That's mm. going to be the best feeling in the world. When I do blackjack too, I'm the guy who gets like, I get hammered. And then I ask the dealer what he thinks I should do. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, 14, huh? What do you think? And he's like, well, the book says stay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. What if I split it? And he's like, I wouldn't split it. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Next hand, I'm like, oh, 19. What do you think I should do? <laughs> he's like, I think you should go oh, to someone else's table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guy like who the works worst. for the place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Phenomenal but, strategy. But he wants you, because if you win, then you like tip the dealer, too. Yeah. So oh. like he's hoping you win because if the dealer keeps winning, then no one's giving him shit, and you can kind of make fun of him. You'd be like, "Fucking Becky, you bitch, you fat ugly bitch, your fucking wife, you're 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 not a good woman, you know, you're a bad wife to your man." You can have fun with them, you know. Yeah, yeah. that sounds. And so yeah, it's not like you banter, cursing. like a lot of banter, you know. Yeah, it's no but, cursing. Uh, yeah, you can't you curse get, at him. You get so mad if you curse at any of the tables. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Well, if you guys want to both give me five bucks, I can make us both. Roughly $60 billion. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Yeah. 
Well, it is. I guess it's good that you're not gambling. But no, but you're spending money on this thing. Oh, dude. So it's almost worse than gambling. Okay. Because you're just spending money no on fake. there's no way you're going to ever get anything. Yeah. Yeah. But he's spending less. But if he's spending less money than going to Vegas. Yeah. No, I think. We got to get Glazer back on gambling. I Not would this love fake that. Gambling. This is that his, would be fun. Because fake gambling methadone, stuff is gonna ruin you know? your life. <laughs> you gotta uh, can't just can't just you know what will not ruin like, your life. Yeah. Gambling. It is like the methadone it's thing. A, that is yeah. true. It's like just doing methadone. <laughs> but because you, you need like, to lean up. Yeah, you yeah. can't just But just because turkey. you like like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you're putting it into like the truth, it's harder to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you were doing heroin when you discovered methadone. And you're like, this is better somehow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is I'm basically fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do heroin also when I can, but this is nice. Yeah. But this when is I solid. Can, you know? <laughs> but this I have at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is kind of true. I hop on Spirit Airlines and I go to the Cosmo and I do all of that, but it's you know it's not as much as this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm an addict. Is that all right? Yeah. But it's also like cool. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I love I think, gambling. I think uh, the gambling addiction is cool. I just like a good gambling addiction, dude. Right. Some fucking badass. Man, about that. I want to bet on sports yeah. so bad. Yeah. It looks so fun to bet on sports. Just hitting big on some baseball game. Yeah. Yeah. Losing. A- Precious family heirloom or something. Yeah, yeah. right. Got to go to a pawn shop. Yeah, pawn shops. Pawn off like a like a war medal. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandpa won. Yeah, <laughs> but you'll get it back. You're gonna buy it back. Yeah, in two but days. you're gonna hit big because the Lakers are gonna win. Yeah, yeah. You might I've have to work for the buy... mob or something. Yeah, that's not cool. right. I don't even know a way into the mob, but that's a way in. If yeah, there's a bunch of money to them. You'll meet them. Yeah, I, you'll my, meet some guys. My grandpa worked for you, Al but... Capone. I can connect us. That's, that's the cool. truth. Yeah. In Chicago. What did they do? Uh, my grandpa was the guy when other mobsters from other factions, I don't know what they're called, neighborhoods, would get off the plane and come visit Al, and he would take him out and be the connected man who would show all the other mobsters a great time, now, a night on the town. Whatever what? they needed, my grandpa would be the plug for it. What? And that was, was his job. Was he in the mob, or he was just like the good times guy? He was in it. And okay. uh, yeah, he didn't. He wouldn't really talk about it. But now that he's dead, and my grandma is ninety three, she's like, I can tell some stories. About <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. get the story. Yeah, hundred percent. We need him. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I can't prosecute him. Not at all. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty fucking crazy. So yeah, I can get us like mob connects so that we can really like do some yeah. business. Let's get some. Let's get a. Let's get a mob guy on here. Yeah, I'm down for a mob guy. That'd be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I'm yeah, kind of, I, I'm kind of bummed. I've made it this far in life without having like knowing a mob guy. Yeah, I think I might know one, <laughs> but you don't know. You know, you never know. Who, who in Hawaii? No, oh, yeah, out didn't here. you almost get taken out by like or like taken to Vegas or something? Yeah, by, one? by these guys who are like, we run gambling in California, like pretty threateningly at the Haha. And I was like, do you want to come to Vegas with me? And I was like, yeah, dude. And then my girlfriend was like, you shouldn't go to Vegas with the mafia. <laughs> and I was like, and I didn't, and I regret it for the rest of my life. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Bad decision. Yeah. 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 She told Mike would have gone. <laughs> yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah. I've only seen the first hour of Uncut Gems, so I feel like it probably all ends fine. Yeah, it ends perfect. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't gamble with them. You do other stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't gamble with them. You don't hold weapons ever with your bare hands <laughs> like, you know? yeah there's like just little like, things you don't do around them but yeah. it's still fun you know? you know trips with the boys you need a spare pair of underwear trips with the mafia spare gloves yeah spare exactly gloves. Of gloves. Just grab stuff with gloves <laughs> yeah a couple dude wipes in the back pocket yeah, yeah. for whatever they need to yeah, be for. You're fine. <laughs> man that would have been a blast dude what yeah. a bummer you could have like you could have really made some friends it would have been sick it would have been a great time or I would have gotten robbed and had a bad time, but probably not. <laughs> I but doubt also, it. Also, I mean, you could have turned that into a great story for stand up, so it may have made you money is, somewhere. That is true, dude. As long as you didn't get murdered, you, you'd come out on top. No, of everyone it. would be like, this is the machine story. Willie's a hack. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is time how, I went to Vegas I, with yeah. the <laughs> Russian mob. <laughs> I was like, I think we've heard this. They were chanting my name, Willie, Willie, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> <laughs> He's the mechanic. <laughs> I think I've seen this bit. <laughs> you take off your pants. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You know, it happened to me too. Like, yeah. No, it really, yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's fucking different. It's totally different. Yeah. I was on an airplane. <laughs> We're gonna rob this airplane. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck.
fuck, dude? Just drinking whiskey? Whiskey. Yeah. Not <laughs> yeah, vodka. Not vodka. Whiskey. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. I would love... Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, no, you're good. Yeah. I'm just saying we're just about in our time, so we just have to start going. Sorry. Thanks, Eric. That's, I, that's why I tried to just do that. We're at 30? Damn. Yeah, we're over. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're over? We're good. We're good. We can wrap it up. That was just a good saying, bit that we all just did. I know. Dead stop. I waited until it was after. <laughs> yeah. No, I interrupt what he was about to say. <laughs> no, no our guest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, now do it. Now do the bit. <laughs> <laughs> and go. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. There's a how, we're done, right? Like no, no, we no, have to be you're finished you're with time. No, you're fine. Just no, no. Well, yeah. Say the thing. You're fine. Okay. It's all good. Listen to my album or watch it. It's on YouTube. It's called Life Rules. It's about uh, why life rules. Kind of like, I feel like you guys live life. Like you really live full lives. You love life. Like you celebrate life. It's pretty to. cool. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a nervous time. And then it's about like my life rules because I've made a lot of mistakes, like spending a lot of money on a fake casino game. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, so it's about life rules and why life rules. And it's yes. on YouTube. And thank you for having me. I remember yeah, seeing the set course. when you were filming at the improv and stuff. It was all, it looked awesome. It was, I'm that was to see it. fucking I didn't cool. Get to watch it though. Thank yeah. you. It's, uh, it's weird. I've never done anything like that before. Um, but the set is really cool because it's like all the things that have to do with stand up for me, like books for, like Far Side and like all these like cool accolades and things that I've done. Uh, so that was the whole set. But I think the best feeling is honestly putting those fucking jokes to bed so I can do like better, more original, deeper, honester stuff. Like, yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Like yeah. putting away all of that and being like, oh, that was all like a lot of external comedy. And now I'm doing a lot more things from inside and that feels great but i had to like kill all that shit to be able to like yeah totally yeah be, be, just have it out there yeah exactly no, I agree. yeah i um i got a ton of stuff that i want to put down somewhere but like you know until you record it again fucking really you can't really put it to bed in your head you know yeah and because especially because there's like always a new tag or a new act out or like it fits a new idea can fit so easily into an old idea so that new idea never expands the way it could if you weren't trying to like plug it into stuff you're already doing yeah mm -hmm. that's a great point yeah you know you are always trying to build shit instead of letting stuff grow organically 100 percent. yeah so yeah that's why i'm excited to release it is honestly just to move the fuck on yeah nice that's awesome man yeah that's was it, it march 11th March, oh yeah, I think so. Oh, and yeah. also, shout out your your producer, Mark. Mark. He directed yeah. it. Yeah, dude yeah. is fucking, fucking talented. Hell like, oh, yeah, fucking man, doing yeah. everything. So yeah, March eleventh, three eleven, um, uh, and then the at the comedy store, they gave me a show at the in the belly room on my birthday, March twenty eighth. So Sick. like, nice. I'll call it a premiere party, but we're not watching it. Dear God, no. Yeah. But it'll be like a real fun after party. So come to the belly room on March twenty eighth and just come see an awesome show and uh, take some mushrooms, smoke some weed. Uh, also, um, uh, there's another game I want to play <laughs> <laughs> really quick. Uh, this might it's, be our first sponsor. Yeah, it's called Homescapes. <laughs> it's a better version of Candy Crush because you get to build a mansion with all of your points. Oh, yeah, I've seen the ads for this. Yeah, so that's real fun, too. So, like, I've got, like, six mansions, nine cars. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> hey, you got a billion, $56 billion in some mansions, dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Life does rip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want, dude? Where can people find you? <laughs> Glazer Boo Hoo Hoo. That, that's <laughs> perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, and see these dudes. Leave reviews on this pod. This pod fucking rocks. Oh, Click thanks. five stars. Leave comments. Leave reviews. Um, yeah, it's important. And it, it's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, man, we stopped dude. telling people to do that a long time ago, but we probably should yeah, <laughs> at I some know. point again. We should probably do it at the beginning. <laughs> <honestly>. <laughs> we might actually. We should record a... No. What's up, guys? Thanks for listening. <laughs> we love you. I'm not going to talk about what we should do for advertising. Uh, but uh, shout thank out, you thank for Thank you to Mike Glazer, our yeah. guest. The great Mike Glazer, everybody. Um, thanks for coming on, brother. Yeah, I, It's cool to get fun. to know y'all. Thanks yeah. a lot. This was a blast. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>